What's up everyone, it's Nick Ferrara here. On behalf of myself and Niraj, I would like to say thank you so much for coming over and checking out this very special offer that we've got for you today. What I want to do just now is show you how this fantastic plugin works. So let's get on with it. I'm going to take you to the, the page that we have set up right now. Okay, now as you can see, this is the Polo Ray theme that has been set up on. This is the theme that comes with this package. We've been at the website for around five seconds. I've set this up to pop up within five seconds. As you can see, what we've done is we've set up a very simple coupon here for one dollar off any pizza. In order to get that discount, to get the coupon code, what the user must do is either share on Facebook, like on Facebook, retweet, or Google Plus One. So they must do one of those things. In the back end, I'm going to show you how this works, but you can actually remove all three and just have one, or you can have a mix and match. It's up to you what you want to do. You have complete control over this. So the very cool thing is, as soon as that user agrees, okay, I want that $1 off pizza, or whatever the promotion is that you've agreed with the business owner, what happens is their entire list of friends will see the offer as well. Whether that's on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, their friends are all going to see that they've taken that offer. And what happens then is, any of their friends that take the offer, all their friends see it. So you can really quickly see how this would start to have a very, very strong viral impact and bring your client or customer a lot of business, okay? What I'm going to do now is take you into the back end and show you how quickly and easily you can set up one of these coupons and how straightforward it is to get this off the ground. Okay, so I'll be back with you in just one moment. Okay, so we're now in the members area of the WordPress site where we've set our plugin up. I just want to briefly say that to set the plugin up, it's very, very straightforward. It's just a case of going to plugins, add new, and uploading the single file that you'll find for the plugin, which is waiting for you in the members area right now. Okay? What we want to do next is go into the Viral Plaza icon on the menu bar, and that will take us to the main menu. Okay? So I wanted to start from scratch here. I removed the plugin that you already saw because I want to take you through the process of setting up the pizza discount that you saw on the front end of the site just moments ago, okay? So, what we're gonna do is create pop-up. That's gonna allow us to create the discount, create the coupon, okay? So, the first thing that we want to do is name the discount, which is gonna be something simple like pizza discount. As you can see, that's the name that was already there. Very simple. Now, what we've got here is a text editor. So you've got two options. You can either add a graphic, which is your coupon code, whatever you've, whatever you've created for it, or you can just type in the text. Either way, it's gonna pop up on the website. So as you can see here, we've got a voucher that pops up already. So that's already in there for you. This part here is just a case of typing in the text that you want to see when it pops up. So that's gonna really depend on whether you want it to be Facebook or Twitter or Google+. So at the moment, we've got like or tweet below to get your instant discount coupon. You can change that to whatever you like. And of course, you'd want the pop-up to be active when you're ready to go. So from there, it's simply a case of save changes. Um, within the coupon page, you've got lots and lots of different options. Um, you can redirect them to a very specific page if you want to do that, where you've got more details about the offer. Um, or you can allow it just to go to the default page, which below here will allow you to enter in some details. So again, you've got coupon title. Um, you can pop in a coupon code there, which will allow them to redeem that when they get to the restaurant, the pizzeria, the salon, or whatever it is you're doing, okay? Now, we wanted to keep this very, very simple, but with the option to be more advanced. So once again, we've given you that option to redirect to a page where you can really make it quite fancy, or you can keep it quite simple if you're not that technically minded and you want to make things easy for you and the client. Either way, it's gonna be of massive value for you, and it's gonna be massive value for the client. So. Everything is here for you. There's no entry level whatsoever. It's dead straightforward to use. Anyone can do it, okay? Finally, I just want to give you um, a quick look at the display settings. So just the standard things like how long should it take before the pop-up appears? How many days should it wait until it pops up again? How often should it pop up? What size should the pop-up be? And where should it appear on the site? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you've got all those types of options. Finally, I just want to show you the last page, which is your social media settings. Okay, so let's just assume you wanted to just share it on Facebook. That was the only option you wanted to give the customer, okay? It would simply be a case of removing all those 
and then simply the share icon is the only one that would come up. To actually set this up it just takes two minutes and we've given you a tutorial video that shows you how to just quickly go onto Facebook and find your application ID. So that's a very very straightforward process, it just takes two minutes of your time, you go onto Facebook, create an app and you grab the ID, paste it in there and you're away. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The last little part that I want to let you know about is here. So the website that you want to be associated with the pop-up, obviously it's the default website, your title and what you want to pop up when the user shares. So if the user shares on Facebook, you wanted to say, oh cool, just found some discounted pizza, smiley face. Or the, you know, the user will update that themselves. It's up to them. But if you want to put in a message there, there's a good chance the user is just going to go with that anyway. Okay. And finally, very importantly, you can upload an image there. So if, for example, it's a free pizza offer, you'd want to have a picture of a nice big pizza there because that's what you're going to see appearing on people's timeline, on their Twitter feed, and on their Google Plus feed. Okay. So I hope you found this uh, demonstration interesting. If you've got any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them on the thread. Just ask away. Thanks a lot. This is Nick Ferrara signing off. Speak to you again soon.